Undertale by Toby Fox. Morning hits and everyone leaves the house, giving Papyrus a chance to have a one-on-one -on -one with Sans, talking about his recent nightmares and how he seems to hide things from him. Sans explains how he felt himself die, turn into dust. Some people know what this feels like. It must be unimaginable. On top of that, knowing the people you care of most could die, are dead, or will be dead, must be the worst, nothing is in my control feeling. But Papyrus, being the number one brother ever in all of fiction, he helped him out in the best way possible, just showing how much he loves him as a brother, wearing him being his brother like an honor, a badge, a medal, a trophy. The love is so genuine. Then Sans falls asleep because of no sleep from last chapter. After a good old nap, Sans goes to Frisk and Waterfall for the Grillby scene, of course. Sans being the little celebrity he is, a pun here and there, chillin'. We get an art style change after Sans asks some questions. It truly conveys the heavy tone of this scene. Be honest with me, kid. I won't judge. Have we met before? And if that's the case, did you hurt them? My friends? My family? Me? Did you kill us all, Frisk? Frisk seems to verbally respond to these questions, which surprised Sans, since Frisk is mostly untalkative, at least verbally, like this. Frisk drops a bombshell, saying with wide eyes and an ear-to-ear -ear smile, You remember when I killed everyone, Sans? In the words of Crayon Queen, Welcome to the true beginning of Aftertale, everyone. As Frisk starts talking proudly about this situation, smiling and laughing, Grilby notices this and asks everyone out of the restaurant. Sans makes a split decision to give Frisk a treat for such information. Two blasters to the face. If it works, it works. As the world gets reset, Sans is teleported to the save screen, seeing two figures walking towards him. As they walk into the light, it seems to be glitched versions of Frisk and Sans.